A Pattern of Self-Denial 1 Corinthians chapter 9 Am I not an apostle? Am I not free? Have I not seen Jesus Christ our Lord? Are you not my work in the Lord? Two, if I am not an apostle to others, yet doubtless I am to you. For you are the a seal of my apostleship in the Lord. Three, my defense to those who examine me is this, for do we have no b right to eat and drink? Five, do we have no right to take along c a believing wife, as do also the other apostles, the brothers of the Lord, and Cephas? Six, or is it only Barnabas and I who have no right to refrain from working? Seven, whoever goes to war at his own expense? Who plants a vineyard and does not eat of its fruit? Or who tends a flock and does not drink of the milk of the flock? Eight, do I say these things as a mere man? Or does not the law say the same also? Nine, for it is written in the law of Moses, you shall not muzzle an ox while it treads out the grain. Is it oxen God is concerned about? 10. Or does he say it altogether for our sakes? For our sakes, no doubt, this is written, that he who plows should plow in hope, and he who threshes in hope should be partaker of his hope. 11. If we have sown spiritual things for you, is it a great thing if we reap your material things? 12. If others are partakers of this right over you, are we not even more? Nevertheless, we have not used this right, but endure all things lest we hinder the gospel of Christ. 13. Do you not know that those who minister the holy things eat of the things of the temple, and those who serve at the altar partake of the offerings of the altar? 14. Even so the Lord has commanded that those who preach the gospel should live from the gospel. 15. But I have used none of these things, nor have I written these things that it should be done so to me, for it would be better for me to die than that anyone should make my boasting void. 16. For if I preach the gospel, I have nothing to boast of, for necessity is laid upon me, yes, woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. 17. For if I do this willingly, I have a reward, but if against my will, I have been entrusted with a stewardship. 18. What is my reward then? That when I preach the gospel, I may present the gospel, D, of Christ without charge, that I may not abuse my authority in the gospel. Serving all men. 19. For though I am free from all men, I have made myself a servant to all, that I might win the more. 20. And to the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might win Jews. To those who are under the law, as under the e law, that I might win those who are under the law. 21. To those who are without law, as without law, not being without f law toward God, but under g law toward Christ, that I might win those who are without law. 22. To the weak I became h as weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. 23. Now this I do for the gospel's sake, that I may be particular of it with you. Striving for a crown. 24. Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may, I, obtain it. 25. And everyone who competes for the prize, J, is tempered in all things. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown but we for an imperishable crown. 26 Therefore I run thus, not with uncertainty. Thus I fight, not as one who beats the air. 27 But I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, lest, when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. Old Testament Examples 1 Corinthians chapter 10 Moreover, brethren, I do not want you to be unaware that all our fathers were under the cloud, all passed through the sea, two all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea, three all ate the same spiritual food, four and all drank the same spiritual drink. 
for they drink of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. 5. But with most of them God was not well pleased, for their bodies were scattered in the wilderness. 6. Now these things became our examples, to the intent that we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. 7. And do not become idolaters as were some of them. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink, and rose up to play. 8. Nor let us commit sexual immorality, as some of them did, and in one day 23,000 fell. 9. Nor let us, K, tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted, and were destroyed by serpents. 10. Nor complain, as some of them also complained, and were destroyed by the destroyer. 11. Now, L, all these things happened to them as examples, and they were written for our M. admonition, upon whom the ends of the ages have come. 12. Therefore let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. 13. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man, but God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to, in, bear it. Flee from idolatry. 14. Therefore, my beloved, flee from idolatry. 15. I speak as to wise men, judge for yourselves what I say. 16. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the, O, oh, communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? 17 for we though many are one bread and one body for we all partake of that one bread 18 observe israel after the flesh are not those who eat of the sacrifices p partakers of the altar 19 what am i saying then that an idol is anything or what is offered to idols is anything 20 rather that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice they sacrifice to demons and not to God, and I do not want you to have fellowship with demons. 21. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the Lord's table and of the table of demons. 22. Or do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? All to the glory of God. 23. All things are lawful. Q, for me, but not all things are helpful, all things are lawful for me, but not all things are edify. 24. Let no one seek his own, but each one the other's well-being. 25. Eat whatever is sold in the meat market, asking no questions for conscience sake. 26. For the earth is the Lord's, and all its fullness. 27. If any of those who do not believe invite you to dinner, and you desire to go, eat whatever is set before you, asking no question for conscience sake. 28. But if anyone says to you, this was offered to idols, do not eat it for the sake of the one who told you, and for conscience sake, s, for the earth is the Lord's, and all its fullness. 29. Conscience, I say, not your own, but that of the other. For why is my liberty judged by another man's conscience? 30. But if I partake with thanks, why am I evil spoken of for the food over which I give thanks? 31. Therefore, whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. 32. Give no offense either to the Jews, or to the Greeks, or to the church of God. 33. Just as I also please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of many, that they may be saved. Worship and the Lord's Supper. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Imitate me, just as I also imitate Christ. Head Coverings. 2. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the traditions just as I delivered them to you. 3. But I want you to know that the head of every man is Christ, the head of woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. For every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonors his head. 
5. But every woman who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head, for that is one and the same as if her head were shaved. 6. For if a woman is not covered, let her also be shorn. But if it is shameful for a woman to be shorn or shaved, let her be covered. 7. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, since he is the image and glory of God, but woman is the glory of man. 8. For man is not from woman, but woman from man. 9. Nor was man created for the woman, but woman for the man. 10. For this reason the woman ought to have a symbol of authority on her head, because of the angels. 11. Nevertheless, neither is man independent of woman, nor woman independent of man, in the Lord. 12. For as woman came from man, even so man also comes through woman but all things are from God. 13. Judge among yourselves. Is it proper for a woman to pray to God with her head uncovered? 14. Does not even nature itself teach you that if a man has long hair, it is a dishonor to him? 15. But if a woman has long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given, t, to her for a covering. 16. But if anyone seems to be contentious, we have no such custom, nor do the churches of God. Conduct at the Lord's Supper. 17. Now in giving these instructions, I do not praise you, since you come together not for the better, but for the worse. 18. For first of all, when you come together as a church, I hear that there are divisions among you, and in part one believe it. 19. For there must also be factions among you, that those who are approved may be, you, recognized among you. 20. Therefore, when you come together in one place, it is not to eat the Lord's Supper. 21. For in eating, each one takes his own supper ahead of others, and one is hungry and another is drunk. 22. What? Do you not have houses to eat and drink in? Or do you despise the church of God and shame, v, those who have nothing? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I do not praise you. Institution of the Lord's Supper 23. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread, 24. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, W, take, eat, this is my body which is, X, broken for you, do this in remembrance of me. 25. In the same manner he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do, as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. 26. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Examine yourself. 27. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and, why, blood of the Lord. 28. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. 29. For he who eats and drinks, z, in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the a.a. Lord's body. 30. For this reason many are weak and sick among you, and many up sleep. 31. For if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. 32. But when we are judged, we are chastened by the Lord, that we may not be condemned with the world. 33. Therefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. 34. But if anyone is hungry, let him eat at home, lest you come together for judgment. And the rest I will set in order when I come.